Brian Ho just because I think he's older. Oh, but Jeff Ong might be older too. Oh, no, no. Brian Ho, maybe because he's like a special outside sort of judge. Brian Ho is interesting because is he a Nash? Is he the representative of Canada? He had a lot of that. Brian Ho is kind of interesting. I feel like Chris Mark is a little bit above him. What color did I give Chris Mark again? What color did I give Chris Mark? Like a reddish, like 2X was that color, right? Maybe I should add like a little bit of like gray or something in there. Right. I need to customize, I need to customize these stars a little bit more. I'll do something like that. Too small. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that. <clears throat> so while I fix up my resume, on the what's it called? The community section, the posts, I issued a challenge to any Canadian, any Canadian battler, event organizer, whatever you want to call them, uh, feel free to post your resume, your battle resume, uh, as including as much information as possible. And uh, we'll go from there, you know? Um, this is a, a public resource. It's a public domain. Uh, it's the history of the sport of tricking. Uh, it's not just Canada. It's it's literally tying into everything, right? Every country and everything that's consistent with the history, right? So when people deviate away from the truth and then they just make up a backstory, that's called uh, like uh, bastardization or like uh, de delegitimizing, right? When you lie it's it, and you create a false narrative, it's called delegitimizing because now it's the, the premise is no longer consistent with reality, right? Um, but I want to tie everything together. I want everything to be, the, I want the truth, right? Like not the buried, hidden, like even the buried, hidden truth, right? Um, some people, they bury the truth and then they replace the truth with a lie. I don't want that. I want the truth, the positive and the negative. If people want to post up their resume, they can do that. If not, I'll do it for them. Uh, but don't use that as an excuse because people won't like what I have to say when I post up their resume. But I would like people to post up their strongest, strongest representation of their career. And I would like to either confirm or deny it. That's, that's what I would like to do for the world of tricking, for, for Canada, for United States, for every single country that's watching this channel, for the entire, for all audiences. For every tricker of every demographic, I would like to provide to you at using as much information, all the tools available to me to put everything in, in its correct order to genuinely build the Hall of Fame and the rankings. So I grew up with a lot of people here in Canada. I've known a lot of these athletes for 15 plus years. So I know their careers pretty well. There's, I haven't been around for everything, so I won't know absolutely everything. but. I would like to, I would like to know more, you know, rather than going underground and not having, not posting up anything. People hosting now competitions underground because they don't want David Milner to find out. I don't respect that. I would like to see the above ground, like show, give, give as much as possible is what I'm asking for. Give as much as possible. Um, we got Chris Mark. This is the this is the colors for two X. They evolve towards two X. Um, Chris Mark was kind of the symbol of the nation. It's between him and Shido. I think Chris Mark was more popular, but Shido was more loyal to the truth, more Canadian. Um, but Chris Mark is actually fairly Canadian. He doesn't strike me as like an American wannabe. You know, like he really is pushing for Canadian stuff, which I really like. I actually like that about Chris Mark. His students became American. They bowed down to America for power for in exchange for, for benefits, but 
Chris Mark is more building the Canadian um, scene, which I like a lot more. You know, some people sell out immediately and just sell out to another country. I like when people are kind of loyal to their country, you know. And Chris Mark, I feel like he's very loyal to Canada. Uh, he probably works in the USA, but he's not like, like it, it feels like he really is building more Canadian, like bringing pride to Canada. So Chris Mark was a judge. Um, Steve Torado is a, a judge. Chris Devera is a pioneer. Uh, what do I give for, for Chris Devera? Probably got to give him, does he get the, the five-pointed star? Or does he get the four-pointed star? I'm not really sure. Maybe he's more of a national treasure, Chris Devera. I think maybe he's more of a national treasure. So we'll give him more of a national, four-pointed star for national. Uh, Dan Pitlock is interesting. Is he a national or is he a world? I feel like he's like a pseudo, what color is Daniel Pitlock? He's like a blue and a red, you know? Um, he's like a blue for me. I don't know why. Dan Pitlock, he feels like this kind of a color combination. Um, but he's not a four. I don't think he formally has won any competitions. But um, I could be mistaken. But uh, when I had my little title match with, uh, title match with uh, Andy Rantuccio, We were, we were, uh, this, this was a title match. There was literally, I've never had any, like, any animosity towards Andy Rantuccio. I really like Andy Rantuccio. He was really fun. Him, Patio Anderson, uh, the original Gen 1 Everyday Heroes was a lot of fun. I have no uh, animosity towards Andy Rantuccio at all. This was a really fun battle. Uh, just to go over it very quickly, uh, Daniel Pitlock was, came up to me afterwards and said that, uh, he said that I started off weaker, but then got stronger as the battle went on. And then Andy R started off strong, but got weaker as the battle went on. And so I'm concluding that it was a tie. I wish that I had footage of this. It was a very spontaneous beach battle that I would say puts me in between the champion and junior champion category. So in terms of titles, junior for like when I was performing below not even doubles right like just B twists and stuff that's like junior champion grade battling and then um, I participated here this was a world championships so let's indicate let's indicate national because this event in particular was national this event in particular was world championships because Luke Kicks 2008 was the World Championships. It wasn't a 1v1 thing, but, um, and then this was uh, just a regional, this is just a regional, you know? This right here was regional. Uh, these, this, this right here is a pseudo national. I'm gonna say, you know, I'm going to say national just because there's degrees of national. It's a pseudo national. Um, so Battle Night was a pseudo national. God Ring. We basically, this is the Canadian scene that I'm talking about. This right here, regional. Just because I, I would really like to go out of my way to like really clearly, accurately indicate. Uh, we're just going to ignore this. <laughs> we're just going to ignore this. I'm just gonna ignore that because that was a mistake that I made previously like when I was first constructing my resume um, so just to, to the competitions within this scope are competitions within this scope are junior champion grade right I was a junior champion this is all from 2007, like chronologically, we'll put like a little chronological thing here, 2007, during J Danny's era, up until Shosei's era. When did I, when was the last time I battled? 2021. Just to build a, a chronological timeline. And it's interesting because I never really battled during um, Michael's era. Like, 
2016 at uh, Euphoria was the last time, and that might have been the only, so let me put, because this is the only one during, but it's, because it's team battles, I have it separated, but um, maybe what I'll do is move this here. Maybe I'll leave this for the 1v1, like, maybe I'll just keep this 1v1. Mm, how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this, you know? Um, 2016 is close enough. I'll move it down. I'll move it down here. Wait, let me, let's, let's try and figure this out. Let's do this. How do I want to do this though? <laughs> uh, I'll move that like right here. Let's fix it up. Get the goals. Because this is, um, it's the gold indicates the era. Uh, and logically, when I first started, I started off really low level. So, like junior champion grade battling, which is very low skill level. And then performing like at the champion level and then around there when I was in Euphoria and a little bit during um, when I started to compete with other Canadians, you know, at the champion level. And that was around 2016. So I'm going to put in here 2000, 2016 right here just to mark this part. And then um, by 2021, this era, this era is more This area, this era is more national, right? So as you can see, based on this little indication right here, right? This is when, this is more so during Shosei's era that, so 2018, right? 2018 and above 2021 era. This era is during Shosei's era and I was performing at a national level, right? So this is very, very logical, right? So I started off as a beginner in the early part of my career, battling at a lower skill level. Um, as I got older, I started improving my skill level, battling at a champion grade, and then national champion grade. These are the national, uh, pseudo-national, special formats, world-class competitions. Uh, this, does this make sense? This is the era, the years, the power level, right? The type of competition. So national, world championships, regional. Um, now I'm calling this national, but keep in mind it's pseudo. So let's really indicate this because uh, it's important to indicate. It's not, these are not true, full blood, full grown, like actual nationals. And they weren't advertised that way either. It was more just us doing our thing. No grab, this is world class. World class. Is that a G? No. World class and world class. Okay. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. So let's see if I need to apply any more uh, any more, so I'm not, I don't think Mark or Mike are former or like champions. I don't think that they, I think they're more pioneer status is the reason why they're judging. So it's more political. Uh, these judges, uh, Canada hasn't really been able to get like full on high level judges, except for the highest level was Battle Oasis with Scotty Skelton. And then Battle of Canada 
had uh, Ethan Turner, but obviously Battle of Canada was hosted in bad faith, right? It was the Kerbit Collective. They got together. They falsely marketed it. You know, lied to Canadians, lied to tricking. Uh, I don't consider that honorable. They were more honorable in the past when they were hosting the God Ring, when we worked together for Battle Night. It was more accurate marketing. I, I would bring them closer to the truth, but without me, they're just going to deviate and just go into their own little, like, fiction. You know, they'll lie about their backstory, lie about the history, just post a false narrative, because that's what some people do when they've committed crimes against tricking. You know, they want to hide that stuff. You know, there's a reason why people, you know, when they cheat on their girlfriend or they cheat on the sport of tricking, they're not just going to jump out and say, hey, I'm a cheater. They're going to they're gonna try to bury that as much as possible. Here I am fleshing out history as much as possible. What do you think a champion would do? Tell the truth or tell lies? Trick question. Trick question. Anyways, this is my updated resume. I got a, is that, is this, is this? I'm gonna add in the um, the posters. I'll add the, I'll add in the posters to to make it to spruce it up and make it look even better in the future. You know, I'll put like the Loop Kicks logo right here. I'll put in MG09. There's no there's no logo unfortunately. I don't think Goddering. There's a logo for that probably somewhere. I could probably dig it up off the internet. Uh, Battle Knight. There's a logo. So I can I can bring up some logos and uh, world class you know, national. And then champion. And then junior champion. Okay, that's the evolution. That's the evolution. And so my champion, my, my challenge for Canadians is, can you post up, like, you know, I'm saying, let me be as respectful as possible. Can you post up your resume? I would be interested in seeing uh, if, if there are any Canadian battlers who are willing to undertake this challenge. I will leave this challenge up forever. I will not take this challenge down. This is history that we're talking about. History doesn't change. It's just the truth, the pure truth. So I'll leave my challenge up forever. If there's Canadians that want to post up, go to the go to the community section or whatever. Look for where I made my post, and you can comment your entire resume, and we can we can seek the truth from there. If anyone wants to take me up on that challenge, it would be much appreciated. Anyways, it, there's no and by the way, the reward is glory. Okay, the reward is honor and glory, and champion status. What would a champion do? Would a champion post proudly pro? Proudly post their history and show it off proudly for the public, just for anyone to scrutinize, for anyone of any country, of any background to take a look at and, and, and say anything they want about my career. That you can, Anyone could say anything. They could talk shit, whatever. Cool. But at least this is the truth. Other people, they want to mask the truth, hide the truth, artificially inflate the truth, alter the truth warp the truth me how can i be as accurate as possible if anyone would like to t undertake that challenge feel free be my guest just like this is comparable to the same challenge that i issued in 2021 to anyone <coughs> left that competition open for an entire year only one person well no a few people challenged me only one person followed through i challenged multiple people only two people accepted you know, after discussion, after, after, you know, coming, coming up with the terms and of the people that accepted, almost all of them altered the agreements last minute. And I still gave them mercy, even though I beat them. So show me if anybody wants to, you know, for the people that have anything to say, please feel free to comment for everyone, not just me, for everyone. I'll probably even make videos about it. We'll go over your resume. If there's a Canadian athlete, a Canadian battler, please feel free to post your actual resume with as much evidence as possible, and we'll put everything to perspective, okay? All right. Thank you.